Kevin Rand here and welcome to Wind Chaser on Farming Simulator 19. This is my new single player map here and if you watched the live stream here a few days ago, uh, we kind of took a tour of the map, bought some equipment. We still have probably some more equipment to buy yet and some more stuff to be done. But uh, yeah, if, if you didn't see that live stream, I did upload it to YouTube here as well, by the way, so you can go back and... Uh, we didn't really do a whole lot. We kind of just uh, ran around the map a little bit there. Like I said, bought some equipment. So yes, this is Wind Chaser here. And this is uh, where you start out on the map. And this is, well, I decided might as well start down here as well then. Uh, so I went ahead and you can see I purchased, uh, what do I got? One, two, three, four, five, five areas of land here. Uh, this main area includes fields three and four. They've also got field two, 18, 19, and one. thought that looked like a nice uh, nice starting arrangement there. Uh, this is a 4X map, by the way. So this is a uh, large map. Yes, large, large map. So let's see. Uh, we'll see what's, what kind of uh, trouble we can get into on here. Should be a good bit of fun there, hopefully. Uh, one thing looking at this map, you probably noticed right away. Square fields? Yeah, the... Uh, I don't see a single... Well, okay, wait a minute. 21. 21 looks like it's... Okay, maybe not square, but you know, it's rectangular at least. So yeah, this there's definitely some odd shaped fields on this map. Expect to see, I think, lots of course play. That's going to be my plan anyway. So uh, again, by the way, if you folks want to see something in particular on this map, uh, have something done, let me know. Throw it down in the uh, comments below. We'll try to uh, get to it. Also, if you have any good mods to uh, suggest for this series as well, let me know. Throw them down below as well. Uh, just to let you know, uh, YouTube usually, if you put a link down below, YouTube will usually flag that as spam. But don't worry, as long as it's a good link, I will I will prove it. Uh, so yes, don't worry. You, you can post links down in the comments below. Just uh, make note that your comment probably will not show up until I approve it. So FYI on that one. Okay, so let's uh, let's get started here. Uh, oh yes, John Deere Gator. I bought this back during the live stream there just so we can uh, run around the map. So we do have a John Deere Gator, the John Deere uh, 865. Yes, John Deere 865 here. We just uh, took a touring pretty much. Okay, so equipment-wise, here's... Oh, you know what? All right, I'm probably missing a piece of equipment because I already updated and changed up some equipment, didn't I? But anyway, I uh, bought a Big Bud 450 with uh, like super singles on it here. The, uh, the duels that come on this tractor are ridiculous clamp-ons. Ridiculous. Uh, and then we also purchased a 9240. I believe this is the American version, I think, of the 9240. Double-check that. Maybe it's not. Might not be with those warning signs on the back. I'll have to go back and double-check that. I do have an American version. If this isn't the one, I will uh, switch that out. So, again, still working on mods here a little bit. Uh, picked up a John Deere. Let's see. This is the 2720. Ripper. Let's see where's the numbers here. Yeah, there we go. A John Deere 2720 Ripper there. Uh, we got a John Deere 7610. That could be upgraded to the 7810, by the way. Pulling a DB60. Uh, planners wise, unfortunately, I don't really have that much of a selection of planners yet. It's like either DB60, DB90, or DB120. So, seeing as how we're starting out, I went with the uh, 60. Uh, I did have a couple of smaller planters, including an 8-row and a 12-row, and I think there was a, was it 16-row? But those planters, uh, unfortunately, I'm sorry to say, are junk. So that's why I didn't go with those. Uh, got two John Deere R4045s, one with fertilizer, one with lime. Seems, how it seems like we're doing a lot of fertilizing all the time. I got two of those. And then finally, our last piece of equipment here, the John Deere 4955. We got the 2410 three-section cultivator on that. So, yes, that's what we got for our equipment here so far. Uh, one more piece of equipment I was going to buy, or actually one piece I need to rebuy, I should say. I know it's my 8530. Uh, yes, I updated this to the American version of it. Uh, I think I went past it. Did I or did I not activate it? That could very well be. Okay, well, note to self, I will have to try to remember to activate that here next time I uh, load this save game. I've got a USA version of the 8530 uh, instead of the uh, European version I had there last time. That, of course, it's just basically more of an American version of it. So, yes, yeah, going to go with that. Okay, well, let's uh, let's get started here. Uh, yeah, we're quite a ways from the shop here, aren't we? <laughs> going to have to drive all this equipment back from the shop. Uh, so, we got uh, fields that need to be plowed. Anything on them? Uh, field 1 is ready to be harvested. What is on Field 1? 
Field one is, oh yeah, this is a multi-fruit map as well. Field one is wheat, okay. Uh, fields two and three and, yeah, two, three, and four here. Is that rice? Is that rice or cotton? That might be cotton. Let's go back to the rice one here, see if we turn rice off. Uh, nope, that is cotton. Okay, so field four, we'll probably just uh, plow that under for start this year. Um, probably not going to bother doing any cotton here this time around. Maybe we'll see if we can get into a little more like the root crops, some uh, sugar beets and potatoes, I was thinking. So yeah, we'll see what's about that. Uh, field two, barley. Field three is oats. Okay, that's fine. So field four, I think we're going to start by plowing that under. Seems like a good uh, place to start, right? Uh, Fertilizer-wise, where are we looking for fertilizer? Probably nothing on any of them, if I had to guess. Yes, yes, saving content. Okay, fertilized. Okay, well, they need to be plowed. Uh, field one actually, wow, field one actually has fertilizer. Field two needs lime. Wow, not too bad, actually. Okay. Yeah, lots of plowing to be done, though. Lots of plowing that needs to be done. So, like I said, let's grab some equipment here. Oh, you know what? Let me double check here. Am I using the American version of this combine here? Oh, maybe I don't have it active. That could very well be. Because I think it sits right next to this other case. Okay. Note to self. Switch that out at some point for the American version. Have to do that yet. Lots of stuff that needs to be uh, switched out on here. The E8530. Oh, I forgot to show the planner here. I uh, went with the uh, Great Plains planner. Uh, the 8530 was attached to that. But, uh, well, yeah, it's not at the moment. So, <laughs> going to have to go uh, rebuy that. Uh, come on. No sense really. Well, shall we drive it back? I know a little sense driving it back is there, seeing how I'm going to replace that. I'll have to uh, save that for next episode then. So 7810, shall we bring you with us? Might as well. Get some equipment lined up here because this, uh, I don't plan on changing this tractor or planter. Oh, speaking of this planter. Oh, who was it? I think it was Math also saying uh, there's an updated version that fixes the uh, silly hydraulics that aren't uh, properly connected. Yes, it's uh, just floating in midair like that. Most impressive. Most impressive. Um, not sure what he's trying to do, but okay. Apparently, are the hydraulics broken back here too? I don't know. Can't tell. Supposedly, they're broken in the back there as well. Looks like they're fine, but not sure. Oh, uh, what else do we want to take? We'll just uh, take everybody, I guess, right? Might as well. Just uh, line our equipment up here. Get to uh, follow me to uh, follow us back to the main farm here. Which, of course, is pretty much on the bottom of the map. So rather than... Maybe I should have started in, like, the center of the map here. Maybe that would have been a good choice. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, if you want to download this map, I will try to remember to put a link down in the uh, description below. It is also linked in my mod list, by the way. Hmm, I think I better uh, set you back a little further. Uh, let's see once here. Oh, I don't want offset. About 35. Will that do the trick? That way you're not trying to uh, <clears throat> mount the uh, mount the cedar. Okay, and then the uh, lime shredder. The uh, difference between the lime spreader and the fertilizer box here, by the way, of course, uh, the one's green and the one here is kind of a, I don't know, it's supposed to maybe look a little more galvanized, maybe, I suppose. I don't, I don't know if that's kind of what it's uh, supposed to be going for or not, but differences there between. And uh, the, uh, the actual differences behind the scenes there with the fertilizer and lime box, the lime box, where the lime actually uses a fraction of the uh, what it's supposed to. I mean, it actually lasts longer, which in reality still is not that long. But it at least lasts a little bit longer, so you're not constantly having to fill the lime. Okay, I think we got our a lineup of equipment here. We're going to call that uh, good, I think. Like I said, we'll leave the combine for now. I'm going to switch that out for the American version. Same thing with the 8530, which, yeah, apparently I need to activate some mods here. I've got them active in my other save games, but I, apparently I forgot to activate them in this one. Uh, go figure the one I actually want to use them in too yet. Oh well. You, uh, you guys going to follow like a bunch of drunks back there? Because that kind of looks like what they're doing.
Yeah, at least it looks like everyone's uh, kind of sort of following. Oh, uh, let's see what's here. So what kind of drive? Yeah, we do have a bit of a drive here, don't we? Yes, a bit of a drive. Well, uh, tell you folks what, uh, I'll pause the video here. We'll be back once we're a little closer. And we have pretty much arrived at our farmyard area here. We're not quite to the farmyard yet. I noticed the 4955 is late. Getting a little behind back there. Uh, but let's see once here. I think I'm fairly close to uh, field four, aren't I? That was the one we're going to start uh, plowing. Field four has the cotton on it. Yeah, so we're going to stop you from following here. Hopefully the rest of them will keep following. And I'll hop in the uh, 7610 there. And we'll uh, continue on our way towards the uh, farmyard. But I figured while we're over here, might as well uh, stop that. And we'll get you started on plowing. So yes, unfortunately, we're just going to plow the cotton under because, again, don't have a cotton harvester. Uh, we did a lot of cotton there on Ravenport, so I don't plan on, uh, oh, we got uh, crop instructions on, huh? Look to self, turn that nonsense off. Uh, anyway, let's uh, switch you to field work mode. Current. Oop. Let's go to field four here. Calculate that width, uh, three and a half. That is, that's definitely not right. Interesting. Uh, first time actually using this 2720s. Hopefully it actually works. I think it's supposed to be like six and a half. Let me check the shop here, see once what it says in a moment. Uh, what does the uh, shop say for width on this plow here? It probably means the uh, mod author did not set, uh, oh, nine meters. Oh, nine meters. Wow, really? That, uh, that does not look like nine meters, does it? Let's see, is it actually even working here? No, oh, I guess maybe it is. Uh, I wonder if that's the uh, plow texture on this map. Interesting. Well, anyway, let's um, see once here and try to get a view of this. What is the width on this here then? Uh, yeah, I was going to say six and a half looks like about what it is. Uh, there's no way that's nine, I don't think, because, wow, bump this out to nine here a minute. Yeah, if I calculate, you just go back to three and a half. So yeah, the mod author doesn't have something set up right. That's not uh, not cool. Yeah, no, definitely. There, yeah, there's nine meters. So, uh, we can maybe go seven. Looks like seven will do the trick. Let's go with that. And then, current vehicle position, longest edge. Just, uh, yeah, we'll have you set to automatic. Let's do maybe like three headlands, bypass, yeah, blah, blah, blah. That should be good. Generate course. Okay, taking a moment to uh, generate here. Christine. There we go. You know it's uh, going to be a big field when it takes a uh, course by a minute there to uh, generate a course for it. So this is field four, uh, seven meter plow. Takes a moment to save it here too, apparently. Okay, first waypoint, drive the course. Thinking I might have to invest in another plow here relatively soon, uh, given the size of the fields on this map. You only have one at the moment, but uh, yeah, wow. And uh, I would say, yeah, the fields here aren't maybe the biggest, although field two is fairly good sized. We definitely got some good sized fields up on this side of the map here, and that's probably going to be the uh, direction I'm going to work towards. Uh, again, like I said, everyone, keep in mind, 4x map here, so four times the size of a normal map. Basically, think of a normal map. Let's see what's here. Where can we divide it? A normal map would basically be this road here that's going up the middle of the map, and then probably, I don't know, between like, uh, we'll just say a split like field 45 here in half. And this would be a normal size map, a 1x normal map. So, again, four times bigger than a normal map. Uh, just uh, keep in mind uh, for those of you with maybe uh, 
computers that aren't quite as powerful that might give you some problems. So just uh, keep that in mind. Apparently a lot of custom textures on this map as well. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, a lot of people are saying they cannot load this map if they are running that what medium no high or lower or no medium or lower i think it is medium or lower i think you have to run or maybe it is high i forget now you have to run no i think it's either high or very high i forget what's one you have to run here again but yes in order to actually even load this map you have to be running forget if it's high or very high graphic settings otherwise the map will not even load i've never heard of that before with farming simulator it's like you, you have to be running very high in order for the map to load. I was like what really but apparently something with the uh, graphics on this map. So hopefully that means it'll look good. Hopefully we'll find out, I guess. Uh, anyway, we'll read a few comments here in a moment. The legendary Tater was saying, or actually sent me a link uh, to a uh, Draper head that has, uh, that you can select the color and the decals on. So you can match the combine you're using. Which I like the uh, sounds of that. Oh, we need to turn here, don't we? And this uh, Draper head, by the way, has the uh, the trailer built into it. Uh, so that is what's uh, special about this. As opposed to the uh, the John Deere header in the game here, it does not have a trailer. Which is true to real life, by the way. Uh, it is kind of nice, though. Especially on, uh, like, Glen Isla, the European map we're playing. It is nice to be able to have a header that has a trailer on it. Rather than having to actually use... A separate trailer which is just uh, like pull your hair out if you ask me although I can't say I've tried it here 19 maybe they've made it better okay never mind forget what I just said yeah they, they made it better doubtful very doubtful okay let's uh, stop you from following uh, for follow me by the way it is control F to start following and that is if you're in the following tractor so if you're in the following tractor meaning you're the tractor that is following me, it's control F. Now, if you're in the tractor that is being followed, which is the tractor I was in or am in here, then you do shift F. Uh, so basically control F controls it from the following tractor. Shift controls it from the followed tractor. And that's right shift, by the way, and right control too, by the way. So right shift and right control. Oh, bought the uh, truck here as well. We got the uh, Peter built, which, wow, that seems to be a little laggy. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's what's causing the lag. Not sure. But, uh, yeah, the, the truck's got some issues, so it might not stay. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, I don't want force play. I want follow me. Stop you from following. How nice of you to uh, shut off for me. Very nice. Okay, so I'm not sure where we're going to put all our equipment here yet. I guess we got one shed here, and there's... I don't remember if we can get into that shed across the road, or across the... It's across the driveway there, I guess it is. I'll have to uh, look into that. Uh, we do have a horse shed here. Uh, so we'll see once we might get into some horses here, seeing how we have it right on our farm. This is part of the... Was it the HOF pack there? Um... Yeah, if you have not seen that pack, you really should uh, check that out if you want some uh, placeables here. Uh, this will be my first time, I think, really using it. Nope, not that category. Let's go to this category. There we go. So it comes with a whole bunch of placeables. Uh, so, yeah, cow pastures, cow barns, old pig barn, uh, horse stable, which I think... No, is that not the one we have? Yes, that's not the one we have. Which one do we have here, then? Horse paddock. Uh, okay, I'm not entirely cow barn. Cow barn. We got four of those. So yeah, there's a bunch of these already placed all around the map here. Uh, again, I'm not sure that we'll be making particular use of these, but there is. Uh, it says we don't. Which one is this then? Is this one built into the map? No, that looks like that one, doesn't it? Quite sure it looks like that one anyway. Go around to this uh, side here a minute. I don't know. Well, maybe not. Maybe this one's actually part of the map then. Could very well be. I'm not entirely sure on that. I just assumed that was part of the uh, placeables there. But uh, yeah, anyway, there is a bunch of placeables already placed on this map. 
Oh, I'm not sure if I remember where they all are here again. The pigs are in the center here. There's the uh, pigs are almost the center of the map anyway. The cows, I believe, are up here. Yes, there's like four cow pastures up here. And I think we ran across sheep. Oh, there's another pig. Chickens. Okay, there's a... No, that's a chicken dealer. Uh, yeah, I thought we ran across a few others there as well. Uh, anyway, minor details. We'll get to those in the future, maybe. But, uh, yeah, we'll see once maybe we'll get a couple horses there. Of course, using the hired horse helper mod there makes uh, doing horses fairly easy. Oh, we'll just uh, run through the house here. Oh, that's right. Uh, this house does not have a collision on it except for the doors. Yeah. Interesting, right? Uh, you know, the doors have collisions on them. The rest of the house, no. You would think of all the things that have collisions on them. The house would. Maybe the doors wouldn't, but uh, right. Okay, we'll stop you from following it back there. Let's uh, pull you up under the farm. I'll have to put some uh, placeable refill points down here. This, oh, this seems like a good spot to put them down, doesn't it? It's right in here somewhere. Uh, anyway, back to the comments. Legendary Tater was saying, uh, 17,170 liters is 487 bushels, uh, which is what that ideal combine holds, by the way, which, yeah, that's almost 500 bushels. That's just in the combine. In the combine. Wow, that is a lot. Okay, and I think we got one more piece of equipment here yet. Yes, a John Deere 4955 with the cultivator. I know uh, several of you folks said I should start with an old John Deere farm. Uh, we don't quite have all John Deere. We got, uh, at least for tractor-wise, we got mostly John Deere, especially once I get the 8530 purchase back anyway. Uh, we do have a case combine. As I said before, I like to try uh, different equipment, so, you know, can't use John Deere all the time, can you? I mean, well, I guess you can, but, you know, you, you got to try some other stuff every now and then, too. So we got a case. Uh, we, of course, got the Big Bud at 450 for a tractor as well, which... Wow, he still has not even made it around the field yet, has he? Ooh, he then. Maybe I should have got a bigger plow. The other thing about this, I like this plow because it actually is a real-life plow. You know, if we go with, like, the John Deere 2623 or something like that, it's not really a real-life plow. It's, it's not very real at all. I mean, the 2623 is real, but not as a plow. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe we should, uh... Should we, we should definitely get into a second plow, shouldn't we? Because... Otherwise, this is going to take forever. So let's uh, do that for starters here. Another plow. Uh, I think we'll just go with another 2720. Unless we want to go, like, mold board. No, I think not. Anything else here? No. Yeah, my selection of plows is quite abysmal at this point. Uh, really, the only real plows I have in here besides the in-game ones are the chisel plow here. Yeah, John Deere 1610 chisel plow and the John Deere 2720 ripper. The rest are, uh, yeah, not plows. Though, as far as the game is concerned, they are. Uh, so anyway, going to need a tra- oh, you're stuck. Wow, you're stuck, really? Or are you stuck on? That branch hanging out there? I wonder if that's that branch hanging out there. Let's get a chainsaw here a minute and, uh, Deal with the uh, situation, at least if that's the branch anyway. Let's see once here. We got Steel, Husqvarna, John Surid, and McCulloch. Uh, how about a... Eh, how about a Steel? Sure. I uh, do not plan on doing any logging on this map, by the way, but seeing how we got uh, light technical difficulty here. No, I can't seem to cut this atrocity here, can we? That's going to be uh, slightly annoying. Oh, well. Let's skip that uh, plan. That Oh. Um, okay. <laughs> Goodbye, then. <laughs> I guess he got himself free. Uh, anyway, we're going to need another tractor here to pull that. Oh, let's see what's what we uh, have for tractors here. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, Jeffrey here sent me a pack of tractors. Uh, let's see once or where is it? Is it under, might be under large? No, it's probably under small tractors. 
Uh, Jeffrey sent me the 15, or we'll just call it the 86 series. The 86 series. Oh, did I not activate that one too? Wow. Slacking, I'm telling you. Slacking. Oh, yeah, the 7010. Oh, I got, got the 7000 and the 7010 series. Oh, okay. Not uh, realize that. Uh, what's this get us for horsepower, though? 7,800, 145 horsepower. Yeah, we kind of could use more horsepower on that, especially for this map. So let's check the uh, large tractors here then. Uh, we could get another big bud, get like a big bud, 600 maybe. 100 horsepower. Ooh, we got the case Steiger. That's right, we got the Steiger series. Oh, we also got an 80. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I tried this 8970. There was something wrong with it, wasn't there? Oh, I can't remember what, though. Oliver has 169 horsepower. That probably will not pull that plow. I think we need about 400 horsepower for that. So that I think that kind of rules that out. Oh, let's see what's here. Case Steiger, what size are you? A 370 starting at 405 horsepower. Well, we most definitely wouldn't want to put duels on it. There we go. And we got duels with weights. Oh, we got duels, duels 900s. Whoa. Now we're talking. Triples. Triples 520. Okay. Triples 710. Do we got no, no triple 900s? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'd probably go with, yeah, like the dual 710s. Those look like they're pretty good, I think. Nothing too uh, crazy wide. Uh, color selectable, eh? Oh, that just, that changes the seats. Really? That's it? Okay. Red seats. Well, if I'm going to get it, I probably would go with red. Black? Ooh, black doesn't look too bad. Definitely probably not the lime green color, though. Uh, rim color? No, just, just no. Ooh, now the black, I like the, the black, I like. That looks pretty good. I could go for that with the, uh, the black seat. Should we go for that? Why not? Yeah, let, let's get a case Steiger. I mean, I already have a big bud anyway, so if I get the big bud 600, it's basically just a reskin of the 450. Just throw a 600 on the front and boom, there you go. You now got a 600, so that's why it's not, I mean, it's not, uh, not bad, but not as exciting as a completely new tractor, if you ask me, or a completely different tractor. We're going to modify that uh, course play course then to include two tractors. We can run uh, two at the same time. And actually, to be honest, even running uh, two at a time, that might not be enough either. But uh, we'll see once. Uh, Money-wise, by the way, if you're wondering, I just added, what did I add, like 10 million into the map here. Uh, just so we had some money to buy some equipment and some fields. I'll probably uh, take that money back away here, away again here once we've kind of got everything settled for starter equipment. As I said many times, that's usually kind of how I start the map. We'll just add in a bunch of money, get started kind of the way we want, either smaller or larger. Definitely going to go larger for this series because, again, it's a 4X map. So this is not going to be a map for old iron equipment. And at least as far as old iron equipment goes here at this point, there's really not a whole lot available yet. So we'll see what's here in the future. I definitely do want to do another like old iron series. Maybe Autumn Oaks once Autumn Oaks is kind of maybe out of beta. That was a I think, pretty good map to do um, to do old iron on, even though it is a little bit, some of the fields are a little bit larger. Let's put it that way. So Uh, SA Farmer was saying in the comments, where did you get the uh, 7930 and the 8530 series tractors? Uh, the 8530, that should be linked in my mod list. 7930, I do not remember where that came from. Uh, it might be linked in my mod list as well. If it's not, I don't recall. Uh, Chris, oh yes, last episode, last episode. All right, uh, Chris was saying sound was out of sync when it came back. And you lost audio uh, again last episode. So I don't know what went wrong there with last episode, everyone. I guess the Glen Isla series is just uh, possessed or something. My console must be haunting them or something. But, uh, yeah. 
Uh, thought we had the sound issue solved there. The last, uh, was it last four or five episodes I've rendered up have been good. Haven't had any issues with them. And now last episode, all of a sudden we got audio problems again. I have not changed anything. Uh, done it the same way I did the last couple episodes. And yeah, now we got sound problems again. So hopefully this episode is good. Hopefully we'll, we'll find out, I guess. At least uh, we'll try to make sure it is anyway. But yeah, apparently I missed something somewhere. Oh, uh, you're stuck on that branch there, aren't you? Hello, Matt. Let's, uh, there we go. Go the right direction. Wow. Yeah, if you see that, everyone, this is probably not a tree you want to cut down. It is going to be a problem. Uh, it is single player, though. You know what? No, I'm not going to cut that tree down. Uh, interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if you really blame the mod author for that, if you blame giants for that, but that is uh, annoying. That definitely, uh, whoa, hello. Uh, at least on a uh, multiplayer, that will definitely create some problems. Uh, we've noticed this many, many times. Whenever you have a map and it has odd trees on it, which I think these are probably odd trees. These aren't your normal trees for farming simulator, I don't think. They don't look like it anyway. I could be wrong on that. Uh, but even if they are normal trees, you definitely do not want to see the cut position being off. That is really, really wrong and really bad. So... Like I said, you might be able to get away with a single player. Multiplayer, yeah, you're not going to have a good time of it. We've uh, dealt with that more than once back in farming. So, wow, you missed a lot there, didn't you? Oh, right, right. He's heading straight back to the first waypoint. That's, uh, that's fine, I suppose, because I was going to recreate this course anyway. Uh, it is time to wrap up the episode here, but let's uh, get this course created. All I'm simply going to do is bump you up to two. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't really want him to run the course again. Yeah, actually, you know what I can do? Let's uh, start him back over here. Uh, put that back to field four. Seven meters current uh, automatic at three. Yeah, that should be good. And wow, it took a moment to uh, record that. Oh, start points over here now. Ooh. Okay, right. Not sure I want the start point over here, so maybe I'll uh, recreate that course one more time here yet. Oh, it looks like those uh, trees are maybe sunk in the ground a little bit. That's never good either. We've always had a lot of problems with that. So, yeah, probably forestry, at least multiplayer. Probably not recommended on this map then. Let's uh, set you back to four. Ooh, do that. Field four, current automatics. Uh, yep, generate that course. And, wow, takes a moment to uh, generate it. And that what we're actually going to do, I'm going to delete that back to here. Save this field for seven meter plow times two. And I'm running two pieces of equipment. Or you could run one piece of equipment and just, okay, he's done with the first pass. Alternate him to the second pass. That's always an option here as well, I suppose. I don't, don't know why you'd want to, but you, you could. What I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try to get you to start here. Because you did already do the first pass. He doesn't need to do it again. Yeah, picks up where I want him to here. Oh, you know what? I should check. Which one are you on? You are set to one to the right. Actually, I'm going to set you one to the left. No, you're not on the line I want, are you? Go figure. Closest waypoint you would think would have been over there, but apparently not. Now let's start you back a little further. See once if we can get you to start where I want you to. Try that again. Uh, would help if you would lower it there, buddy. 
Yeah, he's in the right mode, so that doesn't bode well for a hired worker. Uh, lift and lower this properly, does it? Okay, well, as long as he leaves it lowered, he should be fine. And then we'll grab the uh, quad track here. Quad track, we're going to set you to field work mode. Well, I guess I need to load the course here first. Let's load that. I'm going to set you one to the right. And you should be good to go. You, though, I'm going to start you at the first waypoint because uh, you need to obviously do the first pass yet. What is that weird sound? Sounds like our case is going to break down already. Oh, well, anyway, on that note, everyone, with that, we're going to wrap up this episode here. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. Again, if you want to check out this map,